For crown or any other sprung molding, you need to set the blade perpendicular to the bedding foot that sits on the wall. Here is a finished cope that clearly shows the blade cut is perpendicular to the wall. To tilt the blade, loosen the knobs on the front and back of the saw carriage, being careful to hold the housing as the weight of the motor will tilt it quickly. You can then use a small framing square to adjust the angle. As an alternate to a framing square, you can use a magnetic welder square. The motor side faceplate is steel and will hold the magnetic square in place making it easier to set the angle. Now you know the blade is perpendicular to the wall. For future reference, look at the angle that's on the protractor and write it on the face of your template. So next time you go to do copes with this particular piece of trim, you will be able to set the proper angle right away. One other alternative method to setting the saw angle is to place the molding and device reversed and again reference from the bedding angle that sits on the wall. Since we reversed the molding, the bedding angle will now be parallel to the saw blade. Now that the angle is set, we can create our template. You need to select a nice flat 12 inch long piece of molding for the template. For flatness, check it with a straight edge across the back. To check for twist, place the molding on a flat surface and press on opposite corners. If the molding rocks, the piece is twisted. Spray paint the end of the board flat black and let it dry, and then cut your 45 degree bevel on the painted edge. This 45 degree cut is very important. Place the template stock in the vise in front of the saw blade, about one inch or less in front of the edge of the vise to the deepest part of the bevel cut. Pull up on the movable vise jaw and push down on the workpiece as you tighten the vise. Once the jaws make contact, tighten just a quarter turn more. With the piece secured, you can begin the cut. Turn on the light and make sure the blade is free from contacting the wood and then start the motor. After hogging out most of the material to within about 1 16th of an inch of the black line, use the magnifying headset and remove the wood up to the black line. It is important to do this as accurately as possible. It takes more patience than skill. The better your template, the easier it will be to produce perfect copes every time. Once you've finished the cut, you can sand the edge with 100 or 120 grit sandpaper, being careful not to remove the back clearance created by the saw blade. Sand with the curvature left by the saw blade. Then apply wax for a smooth glide on the template. The stylus lock is located on the back of the machine. Loosen and you can adjust the stylus to the exact angle of the saw blade. The stylus also has the same curvature of the saw blade. For crown, again the stylus has to be positioned at the same angle as the saw blade. Find a flat spot on the molding and use that space to position the stylus angle. Loosen the stylus lock rock it into position and lock in place. The stylus is now parallel to the saw blade. The side-to-side -side adjustment knob is very important 
and located on the left underneath the stylus. Turning it moves the stylus from left to right and changes the distance between the stylus and the saw blade. To adjust the side to side reference for crown, holding the adjustment knob, position the stylus to the right edge of the template. You always want to reference off the right or fixed fence side of the vise. With your right hand, spin the saw blade using the knurled knob, making the adjustment left to right until the blade just ticks the workpiece. Choose a spot on the workpiece where the molding will get paper thin. On this crown, it's right here. Next, with the blade running, you need to make the final, fine adjustment to achieve perfect copes. Using the magnifying headset, Adjust the stylus left to right until that specific edge gets as thin as you can make it without breaking through. This adjustment assures that when the stylus is in a particular spot on the template, the blade is in the, that exact same spot on the workpiece. Remember, you are not freehanding this. You are moving the stylus against the template while you are holding and adjusting the side-to-side -side reference knob to make the fine adjustment. Now that the fine adjustment has been made, finish the coat, check the fit, and you're ready for production. When properly done, you will actually be able to see light through that paper-thin section of the molding.